What is going on all you thirsty nerds out there? My name is Zach and this is the Daily Sip, the week of Comic-Con. It is only Tuesday and things are still being announced left and right. I gotta say, so quite a few things were announced today. Like I said, it's only Tuesday. We have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are the, like the big days. We got Marvel and DC stuff coming out, mostly DC on Saturday, but Marvel stuff, Marvel games stuff on Friday. Uh, the Spider-Man game, which hopefully we get that new suit announcement. Uh, apparently we're supposed to, where there's three suits you get for pre-ordering the game. The third one has not been announced yet, but apparently it's supposed to be announced at Comic-Con with a cosplay of this suit. So I'm guessing maybe it's an original suit. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, the first big thing that I wanna talk about, we have a teaser of a teaser. That's the, that's the age we live in these days. So today we got a teaser uh, with James McAvoy's character from Split. Uh, just some narration of, of his, the different personalities that he had in that movie and it's all leading up It all led up to the announcement that we're gonna be getting a teaser trailer or just a regular trailer on Friday I have to watch the teaser again. I watched it real quick um, But we're gonna be getting a trailer for glass on Friday, which I'm super excited if you've ever seen unbreakable If you've ever seen split you'll know why we're excited for this movie. I cannot wait to see you what's in store. Um, it's gonna be super cool to see the vibe of this trailer. Um, it's super weird. It's, it's such a weird universe to be setting up and I love it. <laughs> and another piece of news that came out is not actually movie related, it's more of comic book related, uh, Marvel Comics. Uh, for those of you that were fans of the Black Panther movie, which pretty much should be everybody, <laughs> um, You'll know that Shuri was one of the things in that movie, one of the characters that stole the show. Marvel is actually giving her her own spin-off comic simply titled Shuri, and it's gonna be following her as she takes over leadership of Wakanda while her brother is lost in space. So it's gonna be super cool. It comes out this October, and for those of you who are interested, I, I might be picking up some issues of that myself just to be uh, just to check it out. It's a kind of a cool concept, you know, little sister that's, that usually she's just in, into technology and like building things has to become the leader of this country because her brother is gone. This country is without a leader, so she has to step up and um, do what she has to do for her people. So that's gonna be super cool. More big news, we got another image of Shazam. This time it's an Entertainment Weekly cover with him blowing some bubble gum, like a bubble, and he's on his phone kind of leaning up against the wall. It's the perfect characterization of what the movie is. Uh, a little kid trapped in a superhero's body. That's exactly what the cover shows. So, I mean, it's a, like the perfect picture for that cover, I think. Um, but like I said, it's just an Entertainment Weekly cover, but I still wanted to cover it because it's Shazam and I'm so hyped. So we're gonna be getting our first trailer for that at Comic-Con as well. So the big news for today, I believe is Greg Berlanti is working with CW to create a Batwoman show in the CW uh, Leatherverse. It's the Arrowverse. So in this universe, we're gonna have Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, and now Batwoman, Kate Kane, which means they're gonna be introducing Gotham into this universe, which is gonna be really interesting to see how they do that city uh, Because I figured we already had a version of Gotham in Arrow. We're actually gonna get legit Gotham and which I think is actually kind of smart to be using Batwoman instead of Batman Because you can still introduce like that whole grimy Gotham But do it in a way that we have not seen before we haven't seen Batwoman uh, live action before uh, especially not in a TV show uh, in an already established universe. Now I gotta admit that I kind of fell off of the CW universe, so I got a lot of catching up to do, but I haven't really been um, itching to catch up until now. This has got me really intrigued to see what, how they're gonna do Batwoman, how they're gonna incorporate her. I'm excited to see what they do. Um, all these characters, all these superheroes and stuff, they wear variations of a leather suit. I feel like she is the one hero that I would be okay with wearing leather in this universe. The rest of them, they should just do something different with their suits. That's just my opinion. But I'm excited to see what her suit is gonna look like. I'm not gonna lie though, I kind of thought they were gonna make Batwoman, uh, if they ever did a Batwoman show, I figured it would have been more of a DC Universe streaming service thing, the way they've been doing the uh, the Doom Patrol and Titans and everything like that. It just seemed like more of a DC Universe streaming service show. Um, but I am intrigued in how CW is going to handle this, so I will tune in for that and to see how she interacts with the other um, people. Now she is fierce, so it's going to be kind of cool 
to see how she's gonna seem as opposed to, say, Supergirl, who is also powerful but is very innocent, you know? So it's gonna be interesting to see how they interact. Um, so I will be tuning in for that. You got me, CW. Uh, I think that about does it for today's episode. Oh, by the way, this has nothing to do with comic books. But if you have not seen it yet, the Uncharted fan film that they have on YouTube right now with Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake, the fan casting that we all wanted actually happened in this fan film. It's just a fan film, it's very, it's very short, but it does give you a good taste of what an Uncharted movie should be. Um, it's, like I said, it's got Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake, who is pitch perfect. Uh, he does look a little more aged than Nathan Drake that we've seen in the games. Um, but this could very well be just like after those games. But he is pitch perfect as Nathan Drake. He looks exactly like him, like he just stepped out of the games. Uh, I believe they modeled him after Nathan Fillion, so that kind of makes sense, it comes full circle. And then we got Stephen Lang as Sully. I never thought that Stephen Lang like would play Sully. He wasn't my first pick as Sully, like not even close. To me, like at first glance, this kind of seems like uh, as if they cast Vince McMahon as Indiana Jones' dad. It's kind of like this like really stern looking guy in this uh, kind of fatherly role, but I gotta admit it kind of worked. I actually really want to see more of Sully or I want to see more of this Nathan Drake. I want to see more of this team. I want to see where they go from here. They kind of left it open-ended. Whether that was to set up things in the future or not, I, I don't know. Studios would be crazy not to capitalize on this. Everybody's praising this thing, specifically for the casting choices, um, with Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake. I feel like if there's a studio out there that wants to make money, that would be the way to do it. YouTube Red, Netflix, Amazon, something. You can pick it up, pick it up as a show, um, a mini series, or a movie studio. Pick it up, make it into a full-length feature film. People will be standing in line for that. This, this, this fan film knocked it out of the park. Uh, so with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, go watch it if you haven't already. I'm gonna go watch it again right now, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next Daily Sip. And until then, you guys keep on sipping.